Ask My Instructor 3.7.23. Determine an equation of the line tangent to the curve at the given point. First, we need to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. Here is where we need to pay attention to the variables. For this middle term, both of these letters are x. I have a function of x, and I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. For the first term, I have a function of y, and I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. And for the last term, again, I have a function of y, but I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. When the function is in terms of y and the derivative is in terms of x, you're going to need to use the chain rule. Remembering that, we take the derivative with respect to x, and we get this equation. Next, we get every term with dy dx over to the right-hand side. After we do that, we factor out the dy dx. Factoring out dy dx, we next divide both sides by 2y minus 3 cosine y. After we divide, we evaluate dy dx at the given point. Evaluating dy dx at the given point will give us the slope of the line tangent to the graph at that point. dy dx is written in terms of y, and y is equal to pi. Cosine of pi is equal to negative 1. And so, evaluating dy dx at the given point gives us the slope of the line tangent to the graph at that point. Now that we have a slope, and we already had the point, we're ready to find the equation of the line. I make the appropriate substitutions, and next, my job is to write this in slope-intercept form. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add pi to both sides. Next, I am multiply by 2 pi plus 3 over 2 pi plus 3. Now it looks like some multiplication needs to be done, and I'm going to set up that multiplication. All right, so now we need to actually multiply, which involves distributing. Since we have a common denominator, we can add these two terms. After we add the two terms, we break it back up. Um, we want the x with a coefficient in front of it, and then we want plus everything else. And so we now have the equation of the line tangent to the graph at the given point. Take care, and let me know if you have any questions.